Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It is good to see Mr. O'Toole here today, who has a lovely ranch in Craig, Colorado, which is in my district. Thank you so much for testifying today and for all the work uh, that you do. Uh, the drought has forced us to start thinking long term about the availability of water in the West. Too often, the discussion focuses on how agriculture energy and rural Americans must change their livelihoods while largely neglecting the shared responsibility or urban city dwellers. I think an important piece of this discussion needs to revolve around active forest management, especially on our federal lands. It's no secret that our forests are not properly managed. A healthy forest is an actively managed forest. At active forest management activities such as large scale thinning of trees will reduce water stress in forests and ease the severity of droughts as more water will end up in our rivers and reservoirs. It's by no means the end all be all solution, but it is a major part of the solution. And that's why I've introduced my active forest management wildfire prevention and community protection act, which requires the forest service to harvest a minimum of 6 billion board feet per, per year. My bill also removes incentives for extremist groups to file frivolous lawsuits that slow down projects. Democrats like to pretend that climate change is to blame for everything. And yes, the climate is changing four times a year, in fact, uh, but these same alarmists fail to take active measures that can address the changing climate. It's too often the case that radical environmentalist groups will sue in court to stop any active forest management activities. What's the Democrats' response to this? Nothing. They're too scared to go against these powerful special interests. Just yesterday, the Tenth Circuit ruled against a BS environment lawsuit trying to stop a logging project within the White River National Forest in my district. In 2015, the Forest Service began holding meetings to harvest timber and manage long-term health of the forest. Out of 2.3 million acres of the National Forest, the Forest Service allotted 1,061 acres for logging. What were the planets alleging? Apparently, the government failed to consider the efforts of climate change on fungi in the reason. After a district court dismissed this lawsuit, the plaintiffs appealed, and thankfully, the Tenth Circuit upheld that decision. We all know that logging on 1,000 acres in a forest that has 2.3 million isn't increasing climate change. Uh, and if that is really our focus, then we need to start harvesting uh, this timber because just one wildfire burning in Colorado alone, like we saw last year, produces more carbon emissions than all of the vehicles in the state of Colorado running 24 seven for an entire year. And that's produced in just a few days. And so if we want to stop these massive tender box that we're creating with the more than 6 billion standing dead trees, we need to um, begin by addressing that. Now, Mr. T Mr. O'Toole, I have um, a, a question for you and I wanna talk about uh, desal desalination. In your testimony, you mentioned that it needs to become part of the discussion. It's my understanding that Israel has made large scale investments um, in, in, in these operations and currently receives roughly 80% of the country's drinking water from it. Um, the technology is very popular in Saudi Arabia, Arabia, where 5 million gallons are produced every day, which accounts for 50% of the fresh, fresh water usage. And uh, is this a scalable technology that could be used in Colorado for agriculture or hydropower generation? Uh, thank you, Representative Bovard, for the question. And yeah, absolutely. And I mentioned a specific project in Northwest Colorado, Southern Wyoming, taking coal bed methane water and, and minimally cleaning it and putting it into the system. You know, we've been working on that for 10 years. I actually test. Uh, testified to this committee about it with uh, Representative Napolitano years ago. Um, so yes, it is scalable, and obviously the um, you know the lessons are that Israel is doing some phenomenal stuff. I will tell you that uh, the Israelis come and meet with Family Farm Alliance farmers in California about the technology they're using also. 
Thank you very much, Mr. O'Toole. And Mr. Chairman, um, I would like, I'm running out of time, and so I don't have my question um, for um, our other witness, um, Mrs. Um, Hawes. Um, maybe I'll submit that to the record, but I would like to ask for unanimous consent to add this uh, Reuters article titled uh, Desalination um, Advances in uh, California Despite Opponents Pushing for Alternatives uh, to the record. Without objection, uh, that will be entered in the record. Uh, <laughs> and I thank the gentle lady for expressing her concerns about extremist groups, maybe not the right ones, but it's a good start. Oh, good up, Mr. Uh, I want to thank the, all the witnesses for their valuable testimony.